everybody, you know, uh, welcome back. I love having my next guest on the show, I really do. Uh, he's a psychic medium. His name is Reginald Lewis. He's one of the youngest African-American men that I've ever seen with this ability to do this. He's really, really does this for real. Uh, we saw him do some amazing things when we sent him out to read people up at Universal uh, Studios Hollywood. And it went so well that I set him up with a celebrity friend of mine. But the catch was he had no idea who he was about to meet. Well, it was Tony Braxton. Take a look. Hi, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, nice to meet you. My name is Reginald. I'm a psychic and a media. Okay. <laughs> So you need to touch my hands or anything like that? Or you you just know, I would love to it? touch your hands, just to anything? touch your oh, hands. Oh, just to touch you know? my hands, see? <laughs> I don't read palms or anything. I just have a natural gift. And as a medium, what that means is that I have the ability to connect with those living as well as those who have crossed over. You understand this. As an African-American, we're always hesitant about yeah, mediums about, and yeah, psychics and around. even going to the therapist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, you're telling your, your business to the minister. And I understand that because whatever comes to me, comes to me and I just give it. I won't understand it, but hopefully you'll understand okay. it. <laughs> there you go. And as I'm looking at your energy and I'm feeling someone in spirit stepping forward. Okay, grandfather energy is coming through, okay. He's in a suit and like a, a hat. He keeps showing me like peppermints. My grandfather used to always give me peppermint and Clark candy bars. Oh, okay, okay, great. And he used to wear hats all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why this is happening now. But for some reason, I'm feeling like I'm starting to get a lot of congestion in my voice, <clears throat> in my lungs. So this would let me know that he either had lung issues or chest issues. Ultimately, it may have been like a heart attack or something like that. That's the energy I feel in my, like in my chest. Like just heart failure or something with the heart or the chest. Francis. My grandfather, her name was Francis, and oh, he died of a heart attack. And he was the first significant person in my life as a little kid that passed. Yeah, so he, it was a big deal through. to me. Can I say something? Yes. I do know I've only seen one or two pictures of your grandfather. He's always had on a hat and he's always had on a suit. Wow. See, that's what I'm saying. I've never, it's not something you could Google or find out. My sister Tamar, Tawanda, and Trina wouldn't know that. They might remember Francis, but they weren't even born when he died. So they wouldn't know about the hat. Or the Clark candy, peppermints, or the Clark candy bar. My mom may not even know about that because it was something between me and my grandfather. And he's saying, I'm watching you when you get to start a whole new, like, journey. I have a new single coming out. He's saying it's different from the rest of your music. Completely. Because it's now, like, this is me. This is the new and improved me because you've really allowed yourself to be vulnerable which you have a hard time doing. Yes. Like now. I do. <laughs> I do which is I fine, do. I know. But he's saying, this is interesting. He keeps showing me a ring. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what that means. I'm not, I, I hope. Well, is it nice? Is it lovely? I feel is really it? nice ring. Tell me about the guy. His heart is genuine and he loves you. He oh, melts okay. when he's around you, that's what you're saying. The thing about you is that you always carry a lot of apprehensions. You bring so much anxiety upon yourself Absolutely. because it's like, you have to learn to live your life. That's what my grandfather's telling you to tell me? Yep. Thank you for sharing your gift with me. Oh, it was a pleasure, Thank it was you. an honor. It was wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Can Thank I get you. a hug? Yes, I would love a hug. I would love Thank a you hug. so much. <laughs> wow. Well, welcome back to the show, Reginald Lewis, everybody. Well, Reggie, this is getting pretty good for you. had no idea you were going to meet Tony Braxton, huh? No idea whatsoever. It was a complete surprise. Um, they kept it confidential. So when I saw her, it, I was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> that you was. <laughs> I was. She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't need a spirit to tell you that, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. Well, look, man, we're going we gonna to have you. Uh, thanks again, man, for doing it. Uh, the way you do it, man. You've been, you've been doing some pretty good stuff. I told you I wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, so you gonna sit down with me and talk to me? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, good. <laughs> well, uh, here's the deal. Tony Braxton is here. <laughs> and we're gonna talk to her right after the break. Stay tuned. We got Tony Braxton.
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is pretty good right here. My next guest is a musical icon. She's a Grammy Award-winning multi-platinum-selling artist who has headlined Vegas, starred on Broadway, sold millions of albums. Please welcome my friend, Tony Braxton. <laughs> Tony, how you been? I'm good, love. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you for having me. Thanks for meeting with Reginald. He too. was great. Where's Reg? Where's Reg? I don't see. Hi! <laughs> Let me ask you something. Yeah. Be before you met him, did you believe in mediums? Well, you know, I heard about them, but you know, I'm a black woman, so you know, you don't really talk to people about your business. <laughs> and you don't want people telling you your business about yourself. So I was a little apprehensive. You know, I thought he was going to say, Molly, girl, you in danger, child. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he was he was great. He was wonderful. Now, he mentioned something about a ring. Is, <laughs> is this something we need to... I am not married. I, I know that. Is somebody... <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, well, see, the ring means, you know, it could be a ring. That's things to come. It's something we need to know about? Well, you know what? If that happens, I'll make sure they'll tell you and you will do it on your show. Okay, that's a problem. That's, that's an exclusive. That's a problem. That's an exclusive. But I'll have to let you talk to him, so you tell me. Well, He'll yeah, tell you I, if yeah, it's an yeah. You know, I'm, look, we've been friends a long time, yeah, well. so just let me meet him. Okay. You know, give him the drill. I can find out really quickly. Yes, you can. Yeah, because men, men are really, really simple. Just. So if he asks me, how should I be? Should I be calm? Should I be excited? If he do asks want you the, the man. Yeah, do boys want to cry? Yeah, they want all you that because the they spent the money for that ring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We on. <laughs> you know, shake. All we, right. want, we want all that. Okay, so I have to make a big scene if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. You can't play subdued, not with the ring. Oh, really? I didn't know. Fainting that. is good. Fainting. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about this new album, uh, Sex and Cigarettes. I'm really excited because this guy here, Reggie, knew it. He told me that it was coming up. Other oh, fish. I was hungry, girl. I didn't eat for three weeks. <laughs> So look that skinny. I'm hungry right now, but I'm excited about it. But Reggie knew about it, and I hadn't told anyone about this album, and he knew. This album's a big deal to me because this, prior to this, I was going to retire. Remember, I was going to retire, and my dear friend Babyface said, you can't do it. You know, it's not your time. Oh, that's yeah. right, yeah. But you and Babyface had a nice record out. Yeah. He was nice. Yes. He, held, he held my hand through it. He said, look, let's do this project together. I was going through a divorce, girls, you understand. You know, I hated my baby daddy at the time. We're cool now, but I didn't like him. <laughs> and, you know, I had lupus. I was talking about that. I just was a little down on myself, and I didn't want to record. And he helped me through that struggle. And here I am today. It's first album yeah. of eight years. <laughs> Steve, now that I have you, I'm going to fuck your brain a little bit. As a woman, how, how do girls, how do we know that the guy is the right guy? How do we know? When he is not with you, he can't breathe. Oh, it's about him. Yeah, it's about him. It's not you. You'll know. I'll know. But what I'll you got to do is make sure he feels that way about you. When, when you're away, he, he doesn't do well without you. He can't breathe good. He's not the same. He calls and checks on you. He wonders about your whereabouts. Not in a controlling way, but it's just like he just wants to be in touch. When you get that, that I can't breathe without you, Okay. Feeling from that guy, did, when you, that's him. That's him. Okay. And from your standpoint, if you have no doubt, when you know it's the one, God will make sure you know. It, it, he will make sure you, you'll just know it. You'll just know it's right. And until you have that, just, just wait. Okay. Keep walking. Okay. You're going to get some offers. <laughs> So, hey, let's talk about this movie you got coming yes. out. It's a Lifetime movie. Yes. It's called Faith Under Fire. It's going to be coming out early 2018. Tell us, tell, tell us what it's about. Well, the story is wonderful. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of the Antoinette Tuff story. 
Remember the situation that happened in New York when a gunman came and he shot all those kids? Fatally, it was terrible. Well, shortly after that, a gunman tried to do the same thing in Atlanta, Georgia. Right, okay. And this woman, this brave woman, Antoinette Tuff, she stopped this gunman from, from killing over 800 people, including the students. She put her life on the line. She ended up saving these kids and herself. He yeah. came there with ammunition to kill hundreds and thousands of people. And she talked him out of it. And so I play her. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. Yes. You know, as an artist, when you, with, with all that's going on in the world with concerts and stuff, mm -hmm. what, what, do, what do you say to people about coming to see live concerts and events now? You know, you can't... I'm a performer, and I would hate for people not to come to my show. I would hate to stop decorating people's lives with my talent that God bless me with. I would tell them, just be safe, keep your eyes open, and you can't let them stop you from living your life. You can't let the gunman stop yeah. you. You know, that's all. Uh, I'm glad you put it that way, because that's the one thing we can't do. We, you know, hate is louder than love. But love is stronger than Absolutely. hate. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's what you have to remember. Tony, thank you for sharing with us today. Of course, this man, Reginald, is incredible. I believe in mediums. I believe. I'm gonna I'm 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 talk with this kid because I, you know, I've been sitting here watching him do so many things with so many people. I went, wow, it's gotta be some. You gotta so. do it. They have gifts. There are angels here to live amongst us and give us hope. Absolutely. 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 Well, thank you. So hey, much. listen, folks. Tony's new single, Deadwood, is out now. And look for her new album, Sex and Cigarettes, out early next year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, incredible Tony Braxton.